Modern Apricot Farming and Harvesting Apricot Drying Process in Agriculture Technology Apricot is one of the fruits you love in summer. Having juicy apricots in your grasp gives you a vibe of heavenly fruit. They are used in fresh fruit form as dried apricots and as preserved. They are used in multiple items such as meat, jams, and even in different soups. Apricots are the best source of beta-carotene, iron, fiber, vitamins, and potassium. What are you thinking? Well, you got it right. Today we bring a significant farming video that will show you how apricots are harvested and processed. Please subscribe to our channel and give a thumbs up to this video. Apricots originated in the Mediterranean region. They love to grow in hot weather. They are a round-shaped fruit, much like peaches and plums. Its many varieties are self-fruit. It shows that this fruit doesn't need two trees for growing. However, two trees mean a large yield of fruit in the same period. A medium-sized fruit, flesh firm, form in an oval shape, is ideal for drying as well as for eating. It grows well in the south as it needs more chilling hours. Apricot planting. Different types of apricots need different agriculture zones. At the beginning of planting, apricots need at least 700 hours to set. That becomes almost four and a half months. During that time, they need a temperature below 50 Fahrenheit. However, there are some varieties that need far more hours. Apricots need full sun exposure for better outcomes. They require rich fertile soil with deep well-drained and a pH around about 6.0 to 7.0. If the soil is heavy, then make sure to add in compost, sand, and peat moss to soften the land. For planting, you should pick the right location. Apricots bloom in the early spring which makes them more unguarded for late freezing. Normally, apricots are propagated by grafting. Well, there's an important thing you should know. Never purchase a plant from a store to grow it by planting the pit, because the pit definitely will grow anyhow it will not produce the fruit. Grafting is the best way to have good storage for planting new plants because if you choose a firm stem for planting, it will remain in its original variety. This procedure always generates a quality result and is very popular in nurseries. Though grafting might be seen a bit menacing anyhow, it's something any home gardener can seek. If the climate is cool, then water once a week is enough. However, if the climate is hot, then three times a week, water is sufficient for the apricots. For the early five years, when the plant is young, it needs one to two inches of water. Anyhow, the quantity of the water reduces with time. Most of the falling of the fruit occurs because many of the trees generate magnificently more flowers than they require. Thinning and pruning are vital steps to keeping the yield healthy. Along with dead or diseased branches, you must shape your trees. When apricots are pruned into V-shaped, their result always is outclassed. One more important thing is to notice the fruit drop issue. This issue arises more in the apricot plant than in any other fruit. It sometimes happens by the dint of loaded fruit or sometimes the apricot has scab disease. Apricot scab is a disease that appears in olive green spots that grow in size with fruit and damage a huge quantity of the fruit. Though they can be used after peeling, good sanitation contributes to prevention. 
After harvesting, when the bud is set in early spring, neem oil eliminates the fungus. To support good health, compost also plays a healthy role. You should take good care of temperature as excessive high temperature causes pit burn. Usually, when the temperature approaches 100 Fahrenheit, it is susceptible fruits are developing pit burn. Drought conditions also increase this issue. To prevent this problem and to keep cool to your apricot tree, give sufficient water to the trees. Place a soaker hose or drip irrigation line around your trees. Apricot harvesting. Apricots begin having fruits after three to five years of planting. When you see the fruit ready to eat and ripe, you can harvest them. For harvesting, they should be slightly soft, but not squishy when squeezed. Use a gentle twist or soft shake on the tree and pick the apricot from the stem. The ripe season starts from June to September. It depends on the variety and area apricots are planted. Though apricots are considered not good keepers, however, they can be kept in refrigerators for over a week. Also, you can freeze them, but for that, you have to remove their pit so that you can save them without spoiling their taste and aroma. Cut your apricots into slices and keep them in an ascorbic acid solution to avoid discoloration. Keep them in airtight containers in freezers. Canning and dehydrating both are the best ways to preserve apricots. Apricot drying process. Dried apricots are very popular worldwide. Now new technologies have changed the ways of drying apricots to the next level. On small scales, they place apricots on the stones for six to nine days. When it turned its color to dark brown and the texture becomes leathery, it means your dried apricots are ready. However, now on a large scale, they use artificial dryers. Meanwhile, a solar dryer generates a high quality final product. It has high demand and price in the market because of the best quality. But you cannot choose the methods on your own as it depends on the climate, time of harvesting, and many other factors are included. Anyhow, in a dry climate, sunshine is the best option to dry the apricots. Mostly solar dryers work in those places where market demand is high for that quality. In many places to give a brighter orange color and preserve for a long time, they add sulfur dioxide to the fruit. Adding sulfur to the fruit gives a hygienic touch and is also a low cost preserver. However, some people are allergic to sulfur and that is why they prefer fresh fruit. Apricots can be a bit challenging for you to grow depending on where you live as they are sensitive to late time. Anyhow, try to not let this issue dissuade you from planting them. Apricots are worth the trouble because apricot farming is a well-established industry throughout the world. You can start a commercial apricot growing procedure and can earn a handsome profit. This can be a good business and is a very nutritious fruit with many rich vitamins and minerals while having low calories and fats. Though it is considered a lucrative business, it depends on many factors, such as location, quality of soils, availability of water, and the cost of yield. Be sure to share your experience with us if any of you have ever tried planting apricots and what challenges you have faced. We will be glad to hear from you through the comment section. Hope you liked the video. For more similar videos, keep in touch. Farewell until the next one.